Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Options Mentor. I know it's been a couple of weeks. I hope you missed me, and I uh, hope you're having a great. I hope you're having a a great weekend here. This long weekend uh, with Memorial Day, which of course means the market doesn't open again until Tuesday, and we have some Fed speakers coming up this week, which I'm sure will have some effect on the market as it has been running up lately for the most part. Uh, of course, some NVIDIA earnings, but uh, didn't really do what it did last time. That was interesting, wasn't it? Last time, I think the SPX the next day after NVIDIA went up pretty much dollar for dollar, and this time it didn't. But still, it has been running up over the idea that we're going to have some kind of a rate uh, cut this year. A lot of those hopes have waned, probably going to be at least a fall, but we'll see. Also, the end of May heading into summer sometimes can be a little strange. Sometimes there's some selling uh, and, you know, the old sell in May and go away still kind of happens sometimes. I don't think it's quite like it used to be, but it still does. But we do have a big inflation report, the PCE coming out this coming Friday that the Fed really likes to watch. That'll be about an hour before the market opens on this coming Friday. But if we look here, I want to share my screen a moment here. And uh, first off, I'm going to start out over here looking uh, at the VIX. Let me get that set up because the VIX chart is uh, quite interesting here. Look at that. I mean, we are absolutely in the cellar. And let's just go back. If we go back three years, this is a daily, uh, goes back a year. But if we go back three years even, we're still in the cellar here, aren't we? So with that low of VIX, to me, the ideal trade to have on here is something long Vega, right? If you're going to get long something or you want it to go up once you buy it, or at least it would be favorable, well, then that's what we have here, very low Vega. So we want to get long and maybe do a calendar, for instance, which is a long Vega trade, of course. Now, a calendar can work whether volatility goes up or not, uh, the main thing is you don't really want volatility to go down much. It can stay the same. You're working off a of time decay because of the disparity in the decay rates between the short and the long. So this, this graph, for instance, is all based on the fact that the long is expiring and decaying slower than the one you sold. So this is for selling June 7th and then buying June 11th. I like to be four days wide when we're under 15 on the VIX generally. So uh, that's why I set this up this way. But even if volatility doesn't work for or against us, this trade would work. Now, if volatility happens to go up a little bit, that could be in our favor because, as you can see, we're long Vega here. Getting roughly every point volatility went up in our favor, meaning the longs, hold their value or get more value than the shorts, you would make 58 bucks, which can help you get out of these trades even faster at times. So here you have the 5,300 call. This is right under where we were trading on Friday. So what I would do is going into Tuesday, unless we have some huge market move downward or something, I don't mind if it goes up, but if the volatility is down here, anywhere under 13 for sure, probably even under 14. I'd like to do this trade sometime Tuesday afternoon would be a great idea. And uh, it seems to me, put this on with calls a little bit below wherever we're trading at the time, try to get eight or 10% of the cost of the trade. So if we had this on and we did pay around 455 a contract, be looking to get around $50 a contract profit and then exit. Now, I think you have an excellent chance of being out of this trade if we don't have some big moves by this Friday. You probably, you might have to take it in the next week, but that's fine. One of the reasons I chose this is because if we do get some big moves and you have to maybe add another complex or something to it, you'll have time. But that's my idea for this week is to play off the idea that volatility should at least be stable, may even go up, so I really like calendars this week. Put on for next Friday the 7th, four days wide. And uh, I think that's an interesting trade. You can also, do, of course, do this on paper. 
You shouldn't do any trade unless it's right for you and you understand it. You can also do this uh, in SPY, which would be about a tenth of the price. So um, lots of uh, different ways you can do this uh, without even spending this amount of money. Although calendars down here in this area are, are fairly inexpensive relative to before, you know, whenever the volatility is higher. So uh, that's what I'll be looking at this week, unless we have some giant down move or something Tuesday. Most likely this will be it. Now, um, I do appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, being around. It just continues to grow. I'd really appreciate that. Please tell your friends and don't forget to look in the description so you can see where I am and links to uh, be with me every market day. I have the opening bell at a half hour before the market opens every market day. I have traders lounges and help desk. And I even have a trade alert service. And I also offer courses. It's all there. You can take a look at it all over at the airmer.com site. So take a look at the description. You can find out all kinds of things. Plus my email address, which is how you, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one mentoring with me, this is done in a Zoom meeting room with just you and I. You can email me at the email address there in the description, and uh, we can talk about it, let you know how it works, what it costs. And I have lots of people I do that with and uh, would love to help you if you want. I think it's a great way to learn options trading myself. All right. Well, I will be back next week. We should be getting more regular here again, and uh, I will talk with you then next week. Have a great trading week. And I, like I said, I appreciate you guys. I really do coming out to YouTube and uh, following my things. Thank you very much. Have a great one.